Hello, good morning all of you. Today I will discuss about igneous body identification in geological map. We all of you know that there is a two types of igneous body we found in our earth surface and on also in geological map. One is extrusive, another is intrusive. Extrusive includes such type of ash, lava, tuff, etc. These are usually in the form of flows or beds, pyroclastic materials. These are shown by outcrop. And another is intrusive. Intrusive include shield, lacolith, catholith, dive, boss. All the uh, landform are developed from the magma, which uh, we will know in earth surface is lava. This type of the magma inject over the inject along the bedding line bedding plane and some are uh, inject across the plane this uh, differentiate create this uh, creates the different thing in geological map just see this is the uh, assume this is the geological bed the horizontal geological bed, there are three geological bed. If one igneous body injected along the plane, this black deep line near rock is known as the shield. And sometime this uh, look like a shield which is uh, injected along the planes and create in different shape like uh, Christian shape and some dome shape uh, depends on these the name recorded as light lacolith facolith and another one is another important one character we found in the physical map this is the type which injected across the geological bed. Assume these three are geological bed, and if the igneous body cut across all the beds, this is called dike. Sometimes it is vertical, very present, or sometimes it oblique and it create in different uh, angles but it cut across the geological beds or lithological beds this is the main differentiation between the shield and dike and also we found some batholith boss which uh, cut, uh, which bit or cut injected across all the beds for shape uh, no size it's a, a huge amount of igneous intrusion found in the geological beds or lithological beds or below the earth surface, which is called batholith, boss, like that. So, uh, this type of the geological, uh, this type of the igneous body we found in geological map. Okay, now we study the geological map, how the igneous body uh, Identified in this map. At first, you need to study the index. You see the index this is the Cretaceous era, shale and grit. This is the Triassic era, shale, flagstone, marshstone, flagstone. and these two dolerite and pegmatite. We know dolerite is an igneous body, pegmatite is also an igneous body. Now, see this map. This pegmatite cut across all the geological beds or bedding plane like this one is bedding plane another was bedding plane another bedding plane this igneous body cut across all the beds from this side to that side so this is a dike who is injected across the bedding planes so it is a dike and another one is this is the black shaded igneous body 
which is called dolerite, cut across this bed, this bed, this bedding line. So, this also known as the dike because it cut across all the beds. Okay, in this map, we found two dikes one is dolerite, another is pigmentite. Now, this map, if we start in this map, like in previous map, here is also two dye, another one is here, another one is here. And this is from this index we know this is a dollar diet, which cut across this bed, this bed, this bed, this bed. So it is a dike and also another dike is here. Okay, now this map and this map, this black shaded line with there is no index. If there is no index, so don't worry, we just follow or see the uh, shape size of the bedding line or bedding plane. All the bed, beds are equal shape, but this is the black sheeted, deep black sheeted line. This deep black sheeted line indicate a dike because it cut across this bed and straight line. Okay. Now in this map, it is also a dike because it cut across this bedding line, this bedding line, this bedding line, also this bedding line, this bedding line, and also this bedding line. Whenever igneous body injected or cut across the all the bedding planes known as the dike. So it is also a dike which found below this below this era or below this bedding line. Okay. Now, see here, at first you need to study the index, this is the dolerite and basalt, okay, black line is dolerite, so this is a dolerite, 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 which cast, cut across the bed, which in, injected across the bed, okay, this is the injected across the bed, or being pain. so, 1, 2, 3, 4, this 4, black, deep black shaded line, is dolerite which is dike and basalt basalt we all of you know basalt is an intrusive igneous body which is found in the earth surface of the lithosphere or earth surface it is a like as a outcrop like that this is a outcrop basalt another outcrop is this is another outcrop which is known as the basalt like as a hat or outcrop in a geological map or geological bed or a rock surface. See this interesting map. At first you study the index. From this index, we clap this is the igneous intrusion. You see this intrusion cut across this bedding line, this bedding line, this bedding line, this bedding line, up to that. This is a dike. But this igneous body injected along this bit this bit parallelly go through this bit parallelly go through this bit so it is a shield also in left hand side you see this igneous body parallelly go through this bit so it is a shield now see this map in this map you see this is uh, from this index it is very uh, difficult to identify because there is a heaviness in this map but d and g is a igneous rock so d like is here this long black shaded igneous body is a dike because it cut across the beds also this d bed same thing happen this is a dike and z z bed means this is a z bed who is parallelly go through n bed this is a n bed this is a n bed so e bed is parallelly go through n bed so it is a okay now see this map in this map from this index this is a dolerite lamprophyte and also the basalt okay so at first, see this black shaded igneous body cut across all the beds with dike. So it is a dike. This one is also dike. This one is also dike. 
this one is also dive and this black shaded in his body who is parallel go through this bed so it is a shield whenever igneous body parallelly go through any bed is called shield this is a shield this is shield this one is also shield and basalt just find out the symbol here here and here and here this is a basalt like this is a is an outcrop over all the beds okay now see this map from this index this is the dollar right black shaded d dollar right see this is a black shaded which only disappear here and appear here to just go through this bed so it is a shield because it just go through this bed and suddenly disappear here shield is just buried under this upper surface of the map and this deep shaded black line it is a fault line it is also a fault line straight line is a fault line also this straight line is a fault line i will discuss uh, later uh, on that fault line and also this map okay and also this is the black shaded uh, black shaded igneous body which is same as um, this bedding line and also this bed this bed so it is a shield because it just parallel go through this bed okay now see this map uh, from this index this is a basalt and there is one another igneous body so basalt found just basalt symbol this is this is a outcrop basalt 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 just uh, out like as outcrop or the upper surface of the uh, igneous body uh, upper surface of the bed or lithological structure okay now see this map from this map just find out the igneous body this is a dolerite this is a pegmatite okay see this map this is a long igneous body who is cut across the beds is a dive also this is uh, igneous body cut across the bed dive this is also cut across the bed 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 cut across all the beds so it is also a dive. now see this black shaded igneous body which just parallel go through this bed so it is a shield also here you found this black shaded black shaded area black shaded igneous body which parallel go through this bed so it is okay sometime you found the igneous body just uh, just uh, appear left side right side or middle portion and also it uh, it uh, all the beds are disappear along this igneous body like uh, which is called the boss or conolith okay i think uh, it will uh, help you for your starting identification of igneous body in geological map in next video i will discuss how you prepare igneous body in geological sector thank you very much